I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. I've had some tools kicking around on the bench for a while. I really need to get these put up someplace where I don't damage them and also so that edge doesn't get in there and, and cut me either. Uh, both of those are very important projects. I have several hatchets. This is uh, the Buell. Buell's Hand Forged Made in Detroit, Michigan. This one's kind of special to me because it's a local one and also it's neat. It's very nicely made. It's got a really good stamp on it and I think it just looks good. Also, it does a nice job. It's uh, comfortable. It's about the right size. I have this one which is really more of an axe. The head sizes are the same but this one is much better bigger it's much heavier this one gives me a better feel in my hand now I still got this one with a hatchet handle but I made it up out of an axe handle this one is really a hatchet handle so I may change my mind and turn this back into an axe it's a single bevel axe and it, I suppose it's uh, almost a little brother to a broad axe but I don't think I'm going to be hanging that one up on the wall because I'm really not going to get a whole lot of use out of it. This one, I've actually found projects where this has come in handy. This plum Boy Scout hatchet is just really nice for cutting up kindling and, and breaking things down. So I'm going to hang this up down here in the basement just so it stays clean and sharp and doesn't rust. So that's my project for today is uh, to make a couple of hangers for those. Now, I made this one up with the idea that I was going to use it to hang a brace on. Didn't work. Uh, I tried all kinds of things. You can see I glued little tabs onto it. By the time I have to fuss with something that much, it's really not worth the trouble. It's just about big enough that I can make a nice hanger for this carpenter's hatchet. And I want to be able to put it up onto the wall along with all the other tools and have it up there so it looks nice and it's close by. I don't want to have this able to slip out or fall off the wall. Now, admittedly, the concrete wall is not going to vibrate a whole lot. If it does, I have whole other issues to deal with. But I would like to make it so that this handle is captured in the mount. So my intent is to make a keyhole shaped hole so that the hatchet will go in there and then turn and set. That should lock it in so it doesn't move around. Now to cut this intricate shape here I could use a hand uh, coping saw. I really hate hand coping saws. But I did find something the other day that will make this job a lot easier. Every once in a while I actually clean the shop and about Two years ago, I got into an organizational mood and decided to put some things in places that I could find them easily. Uh, you know how that works. I ended up taking this scroll saw that was sitting on the bench, moved it over and put it on one of the storage racks at the other end of the room. And then I piled a whole bunch of Christmas stuff in front of it. Now, we didn't use the, that Christmas stuff last year, so I didn't get this out. I didn't get it where I could see it. I went looking for this thing in the springtime of last year, trying to find it. And I knew I had one, but I didn't know where. I searched in the garage, thinking that I'd left it out there when we moved. I searched down here. I searched in the storage room on the other side of the, uh, the basement. I even went out in the blacksmith shop thinking, well, maybe I put it out there. Couldn't find it. This year, we wanted to put up a Christmas item that was in the same area as this. When I pulled the Christmas item away, there set my scroll saw. So now, 
I can do scroll sawing again. It's a power tool. Yep, certainly is. And it's not a normal thing for Schneelock to use as a power tool. But I really hate coping saws. Uh, they're tedious, they're fussy, they bend, they break, they don't hold a blade well. They're just a real pain in the butt. So, I was more than happy to find this scroll saw. Had it for a number of years. I got it with the idea that I was going to use it to cut stair steps for a circular staircase that I was building. Didn't work for that very well, but it didn't cost a whole lot the day that I bought it. Seems to be a recurring theme. The biggest problem I have with a scroll saw is getting the blade mounted. didn't cost a whole lot to buy it and I found many ways to use it over the years so we're going to get it back out for this project Did a fine job cutting the scroll out, but I need to cut this a little shorter, and I could use the scroll saw to do it, but scroll saw does really good on cutting crooked lines and odd shapes like this one. Cutting straight lines, not so hot. This is where I go back to the tried and true methods. This little handsaw. I just have to break the edges, clean it up a bit, and we're good to go. While I have the jigsaw out, I'm going to round these edges. That'll hold it up there securely. No danger of it coming loose. And it's uh, up out of the way.
I just have to make another one. So I can hang this hatchet up there. Same idea. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.